Hello and welcome back. There are many commands that we can learn as Linux administrators and enthusiasts that empower us on the command line and give us special powers. But two of those commands, head and tail, are actually very easy to learn and we're going to explore them right now. So let's see the head and tail commands in action. Now both commands are fairly similar. By default, both the head and tail commands will show you 10 lines of a file. The head command, as you might suspect by the name, will show you the first 10 lines, and the tail command will show you the last 10 lines. Let's look at the tail command first. And like I mentioned, it shows the last 10 lines by default. So I'll type the tail command, and then the path where the log file is that I want to show the last 10 lines of. And the file name in this example is going to be auth.log. Now normally you do need to have root privileges or use sudo to view this file. So on your end, you may have to do this. Prefix the command with sudo. Now, I won't need to do that in my case because I've already adjusted the permissions to where I am able to view this file as my normal user. And as you can see here, it's showing us the last 10 lines of the file. Now the lines are wrapped a bit because of the font size. So if I pipe this into WC, which is the word count command, dash L to count the number of lines, we can see that it's showing me 10 lines. And it is going to show the last 10 lines like I mentioned. And this command is very useful if you want to view the most recent information in a log file because all new lines are appended to the end of the file. But if 10 lines aren't enough, or they could be too many, you can actually change the number of lines the tail command will show. And to do that, we will issue tail and then dash n. And for example, if we want to see the last 50 lines of a file, we can add dash n and then 50, just like I did. And again, the font size is very large on my end. So what I'll do again is just pipe that right into the word count dash l command. And as you can see, it shows 50 as the number of lines in the output. Well, similar to that, we actually make this a little bit more manageable by simply changing it to three or something like that. Maybe we only want the most recent three lines of the file to be shown on the screen. And as you can see here, it did exactly that. Each line begins with the date and the time. And you can see that there are three lines in the output here. Now this authorization log file right here is a very important log file to keep an eye on on Debian and Ubuntu servers. And other distributions have a file that serves a similar purpose with a different name. But when someone tries to log into your server, it's actually going to show output in the authorization log. So that actually makes for a great example of my favorite use of the tail command, which is the dash F option. And I'm going to issue that command against the same log file as before. Now you'll notice that the bash prompt didn't return, so I can't actually type another command. I can hold control and press C to break out, but what it's actually doing is it's following the log file. And what that means is that anytime a new line is added to this file, I'm going to see it immediately. I'm basically following the log file. And the auth log is a great example of a reason why you might want to use the dash F option, because it is a log file that we do want to keep our eye on. I'm going to press enter a handful of times here to add some white space there. And then what I'm going to do is try to log into this server from another window. And off camera on a different computer, I tried to SSH into this server. And then on purpose, I failed the password. I just typed the wrong password three times in a row. And you can actually see that output right here where it shows that I failed the password. It repeated a couple of times and then the connection closed. Now in my case, I did this on purpose, so there's nothing to worry about. But if you see a lot of activity like this, that might be cause for alarm. And that's one of the reasons why you want to keep an eye on this file, because if someone is trying to brute force the password or something like that, you'll see evidence of their attempts in this log file. And that's just one more example of why the tail command is awesome. It's very simple, but extremely effective. As with the majority of commands that we can enter on our Linux server, we can actually combine the tail command with other commands. So, for example, I could tail the off log, 
but I can actually look for a specific keyword in the log file. For example, perhaps I want to see all the lines of the log file that include the username J because perhaps I suspect someone is trying to use that username to log into the server. So for something like that, I could type grep and then the keyword. And you could type whatever keyword you want. It could be an IP address or basically anything else that you think might be in the file. And not only is it showing me all of the lines that contain the keyword J, it's also showing matches in red. And you can't always rely on the keyword being colorized in the output. But as you can see here, I'm only seeing lines that include the keyword that I searched for using grep. And again, the command looked like this. Using tail, I want to view the last 10 lines of the authorization log. That's the number of lines that it's going to show by default. And I want to include all lines that include the keyword J. So I basically just pipe the tail command into the grep command to look for lines matching that criteria. And the head command again is very similar to the tail command. It's going to show me the first 10 lines of the file by default. As you can see here. So, like I mentioned, it's very similar to the tail command. It's just the opposite as it shows the first 10 lines rather than the last 10 lines. And just like the tail command, we can actually show a very specific number of lines if we'd like by using the dash n command, so the syntax there is exactly the same. And now I'm seeing the first three lines of that file. Another option is the dash c option, which allows us to show the beginning of the file up to the first 1000 bytes in this case, because I entered 1000 as an argument to the dash c option. And that option might not be one that you would use as often as you might use the dash n option, but if you only need to see a certain number of bytes, you can do so with the dash c option. And just like we can do with the tail command and many other commands, we can actually combine the head command with other commands. So, for example, perhaps I want to see everything in the beginning of the log file that includes the keyword ssh. And I could simply pipe the command into the grep command with the keyword of ssh to do exactly that. And as you can see, pretty simple to do. Now we've only scratched the surface of the head and tail commands in this video, so I highly recommend that you check out the man pages, as well as the full guide that is available on the Linode website, so you can see even more examples of these commands. But since we're on the command line right now, we may as well check out the man page, so we can use man against head, for example. And then we can see all of the various options that we can use with the head command. And then we can press Q to quit out of this. And then we can do the exact same thing with the tail command as well. And view options for that command. But there you go. The head and tail commands are very simple to use and also extremely effective. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Even though the tail and head commands are very easy to learn and fairly straightforward, make no mistake, they are two of the most powerful commands that you will learn, and if nothing else, as a Linux administrator or enthusiast, you'll find yourself using these two commands quite often. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. As always, we have some great content coming, so if you haven't already done so, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.